things and they and they look at them positively. So those two perspectives helped a lot of startups get through it. You see, these are the things that we are not talking about. We're not teaching proactivity in business schools. We're not teaching um, positive perspectives in business schools. We're not teaching complex problem solvings in business schools. We're teaching people the regular things of how to operate a business, not how to lead and manage a business. And this is why we're struggling with resilient businesses and struggling to build a resilient, self-reliant economy. And that's why we have a, a, our resilience is investor-reliant and not self-reliant. This is where the problem is coming. This is where the divergence is coming from. What's on paper on the 8th National Development Plan where it's saying build a resilient, self-reliant economy, but then we're talking about investors, investors, investors. Because now that is not self-reliant. That is investor-reliant. Okay? You can partner with investors. Yes, I agree. But you should not be dependent on investors. Our stock market shouldn't be dependent on investors abroad. It should be dependent on local savers and investors channeling and bolstering the companies that are domestically operating and lifting a lot of companies through the stock market process. We should be the providers of capital as people, and then the offshore investors come in to just support us, okay, and also to participate in our markets. But we should be able to survive without them. But this is the problem as a country. We've built systems that cannot survive without international participation, which is a horrible way of doing business. And it's not going to lead to the self-reliance and resilience we're talking about. But getting back to, to, to the things about being a resilient.